Howdy, y'all. This is in reply to Tommy 38, oh no, 30507. He did a Let's Play 20 Questions video as a reply, and I'm doing this as a reply to him. So here we go. Number one, where am I from? I was born and raised in Wallachia, Florida. It's a small town. It holds, well, in the winter it's 600 people, and in the summer it's about 60 people. It was a farm that was owned by a guy that owned slaves, and when they freed the slaves, it was when they freed the slaves, he gave it to the main slave, and the main slave took care of it, cleaned it up, and turned it into a town, and it's called Wallachia. Wallachia is Seminole Native American, Indian, whatever, or river mouth or lake mouth. It really depends on what you're talking about. Um, my most, the most influential person in my life, I don't really have one. Um, I would have to say my uncle, my uncle Bruce. He's a drummer, he's a guitarist, he's a party animal, he's a nut. He owns a business called Waterfront Concepts up in Jacksonville, Florida. He retired when he was 35 years old. I learned almost everything about business that I know from him, and I know a hell of a lot about business, so he would be my most influential person and probably my best friend, other than Janet. You know, you know she doesn't count because I'm doing her. Um, my favorite color is purple. My favorite color is purple because I like purple. I like even lavender. I like purple. Purple makes me happy. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, do people have a soul? <laughs> My writing was bad. I was writing fast. Uh, I'm divided on that. I don't know if I believe that people have a soul or not. I, I think that we have a conscience and people confuse our conscience with our soul. Does God exist? I'm not feeling it. I'm thinking there's too much hate, too much violence in the world, and too much hate to where people just don't like anybody. I mean, you can be best friends with somebody today, and then they piss you off tomorrow, and you, you will backstab the hell out of them. So I'm kind of divided on that whole God issue, so there you go with that one. Number seven. Have you gone bungee jumping? Yes, I have, and it was scary, and I will never do it again because I don't want to go through that whole cleaning process again. I've also jumped out of planes, but I did that a lot, so that's not a big deal. If I could solve only one of the problems in the world, I'm not a PETA person, and I'm not an animal activist, but I would... I would probably feed all the animals because Sally Struthers is already feeding all the other kids. Do I believe in aliens? Hell yeah. I believe in aliens, I believe in UFOs, I believe in ghosts, I believe in all that shit. Did I have a pet growing up? Everything from cows to horses to pigs to dogs. I'm a redneck. I'm country. This is what we do. We have, hell, I had a pet squirrel named PETA. P-I-T-A stood for pain in the ass because he was a pain in the ass. So that's my squirrel. Um, is there ever a circumstance for the death penalty? You know, we just had a guy here in Texas that just got went on trial yesterday. He uh, shot his friend in the head and then cut her head off and then cut her hands off and then cut it and shot her in the head again and he only got 50 years. I, I'm telling you, the axis of evil, that's the axis of evil and there comes a time for the death penalty, that's it. Past that, unless they admit to the crime, no, because there's too much DNA out there that's already proved that half the people that we've killed already didn't deserve to die. Um, if I had a super sixth sense, what would it be? Or a super sense, what would it be? X-ray vision, so I could look at my woman, even when she had clothes on, and she'd be naked. Yeah, because I'm a freak like that. How much 
money would it take to make me happy to be comfortable forever? Uh, I don't know. That could go. It all it all depends because the more money you have, the more money you spend. I mean, if you were working at Kmart making eight dollars an hour, then you live on eight dollars an hour, and you would just love to have ten dollars an hour because that would make your life complete. And then all of a sudden, you make that ten dollars an hour, and your life is not as complete as you thought it would be. So that's pretty much pointless, really. So, no, no matter, no matter how much money you make, it's never going to be enough because your lifestyle is going to increase with that. Um, how old do I think when I, I will be when I die? I have multiple sclerosis, and that's not a disease that kills you, but it's a disease that dil 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 I can't say the word. It's. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for maybe, I'm hoping for maybe 65. Last night I went to bed at, I think about 9 because Jenny was drunk off of apple martinis. The top three things I like about me, I'm a good guy, I'm honest, and I'm straight to the point. I don't know if that's the same as honest, but I'm straight to the point. If I don't like you, I'll tell you I don't like it. Straight out. If I could have any profession, I build and design stuff for disabled people for a living. I started my business in 1992, and I love what I do. I love what I do. I, I love that that if you're a disabled person and you need assistance and that product's not already out there, that you can thumb through any paraplegic news magazine or any sports and spokes magazine or any spinal cord injury magazine and I'm there. I don't pay for any advertising. They give it to me because I'm good at what I do. So the profession that I do. 18. Where would I go back in time? I would go back to. Uh, I would go back to the 80s because I lived in Omaha in the 80s, and as boring as that sounds, I loved Omaha a lot. Omaha was fun. It's where I became a teen and where I got my cherry pop and stuff. <laughs> My favorite meal is anything with barbecue sauce on it. I don't care if it's macaroni and cheese, I'd put barbecue sauce on it. So you can dip it. So let's just say barbecue. Barbecue. Pork, chicken, goat, whatever. Barbecue. To tell you something about me that I probably wouldn't tell anyone else. After a few drinks and I ain't got nothing to do, I like to put on my woman's panties and walk around. There you go. Have a good day.